Hello everyone, today I will show you how to create a procedural live boolean system in Modo, so let's get started. We rename our empty mesh to base mesh, create a folder by pressing Ctrl G and name it source mesh. We press the letter N, thereby creating a new mesh. We name it subtract. We create a mesh and name it union. We select them and create a folder named boolean. We create a mesh named merge subtract. We create a mesh named Merge Union. We create a mesh named Merge Mesh. We go to Base Mesh and create a cube inside it. We also create a cube in the Subtract object and place it in the desired location. We press Ctrl C. Entering the Union object, we press Ctrl V and place it in the desired location. Then, holding Ctrl Shift, we drag the gizmos to copy the object and position it so that they become one whole. Next, we go to the mesh parameters. Next, in the display settings, we click on Add Dual option, and in the Dual Style section, we select Wireframe. This way, we hide the polygon so that it does not interfere. We select our Merge Subtract object. Now we go almost to the top and click on the plus. In the drop-down list, select Data List. There is a tab called Mesh Ops. Now, in its parameters, click on Add Operator and in the drop-down window, type Merge and select Merge Mesh. Next, go to its root, click on Add Source and in the drop-down menu, select the Subtract object. Click on Add Operator again, type Boolean and select it. In the drop-down menu, leave the driver surface parameter empty and set the operation to union all. Now do the same with the merge union object. Hide these objects and select merge mesh, then in its parameters click on add operator. In the drop-down menu, type merge mesh and select it. We go down to its root and click on add source, then select base mesh. Next, we click on Add Operator and type Boolean in the drop-down menu. We choose Merge Union and for operation, we select Union All. We add another Boolean operator, selecting Merge Subtract in the driver surface and Subtract in the operation, we hide our base mesh. And voila, we have a procedural Boolean system where we can perform numerous subtractions and unions. This is very convenient when you are doing a draft or a blockout, but you are not quite sure if you have done everything correctly. And this will give you the ability to edit without harming the base mesh. And if we hit this pause, everything will work in real time. But when there are a lot of objects, it's better to use this with pauses, so you can avoid freezes. In conclusion, I would like to say that in Modo, you can do anything without the use of third-party plugins and scripts. I wish you good luck in your endeavors and see you next time. Goodbye.